Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here and welcome to my show and today we're going to be taking a look at someone that basically bought a boat for $45,000 to literally go to Los Angeles and live at a discount. Does that make sense to you? I don't know. But this channel is new so I do whatever I want here. And on top of that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified because I will be posting here almost every single day. And on top of that, also smash and destroy the like button. It helps a lot more than ever because this channel is very, very small. And by the way, this is the equivalent of $45,000 in, 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 in money. Okay. So that's a lot of money to spend on a boat to live in Los Angeles. Okay. So let's watch the video right here. And by the way, there's this great quote that I always hear from boat owners and they say all the time, Hey, Tommy, there are only two happy days when you buy a boat. The day you buy it and the day you sell it because it's a waste of money. But in this case, it's being used to actually live on it, I guess. Okay, so let's watch the video right here. And this video is by Shelby. And let me put on my headphones. And now I am 100% ready to watch this video. And by the way, guys, no need to comment. I saw the title of the video that says, What's like to live on a $600 per month boat in Los Angeles? It's supposed to be, What is it like? Not what's like. Okay, so I guess so or at least unless I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know comment down below Let me know if my spelling is wrong here. I'm pretty sure it's not though. Let's watch the video I've done quite a few videos now about housing prices in LA and today we're gonna look at another alternative living style mm -hmm. In LA people typically pay one to two thousand dollars per month in rent at Imagine paying one to two thousand dollars per month in rent to live in Los Angeles and you're basically, well, in this case, that's like the normal rent. And by the way, I live in New York, so I know what expensive rent is. But I found this right here, guys, okay? Because everyone says, Tommy, you know what? A house is too expensive. The average house in America costs like around like 200000 250000 So that's not that bad. So I found a house for you guys in West Virginia. Now, I don't know who wants to live in West Virginia, but I just found one for this example right here. And as you can see right here on Zillow, there's this house right here in West Virginia. Yes, it needs some work. I get that. But look at this house right it's a pretty nice house it has a, it comes with a it comes with a deer okay which is pretty cool <laughs> the house comes with a deer it obviously needs some work but at least it comes with some like a vacuum oh my gosh like so many things included here and oh even like one of those like um like the, the, the game stuff the pool game look this is a pretty good house bro it's um 1,000 square feet four bedrooms one bathroom kind of a weird design but it needs some work but this house only costs one hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars and 99 cents. It's a great deal, you know. Now, Tommy, why would I want to live in West Virginia? Well, look at this. The average payment for this house is going to be like around $935, and that's your mortgage. And on top of that, the lot, the property you're buying is going to be around 53 acres, bro. 53 acres is almost 50 to like double or 100, <laughs> 100 times of whatever you're going to get in New York, like hands down. So it's pretty cool. But am I moving to West Virginia? Um, The answer is no. But I'm just showing you guys that because you guys might want to go to West Virginia and then just let me know about it. You get a free vacuum. So there you go. It's a free plug. If it sells, give me 10%. At least basically the price of a five bedroom house in the middle of nowhere. And today yeah. we're looking at my friend. You see, like she said right there, like it's in the middle of nowhere. You can rent that for a five bedroom apartment in the middle of nowhere. But again, everyone wants to live in New York, Los Angeles, Texas. It's a few places now that are coming up, but mostly Los Angeles and New York are like the most popular places out there. And Texas too. Texas too. Don't forget about Texas and Phoenix. And Bryce's place, he actually lives on a yacht in Marina Del Rey for $600 a month. So what is it actually like to live on a boat? We're going to You know, when they say like $600, is that like the yacht price or is that the parking of the yacht? Because here, if you have a car in New York and you have a house, well, you have to basically pay the landlord an extra $200 just to have your car parked outside your garage, okay? So it's a whole different deal here. Well, let's, let's keep watching. It's definitely not for everyone, but the low price compared to apartments and the fact that you're on the water could really make it worth it. Without further ado, let's take a look. My name is Bryce. I live uh, on my boat in LA. I wonder if that was his car. I wonder if that was his car, but he didn't show it, you know? Because Bryce, that's a pretty nice car. But that would kind of defeat the purpose of like living on a boat because you're like averaging out the price and you have a fancy car and also a boat. Because in Los Angeles, everyone always says, you know, you need a car because it's not like New York, you don't have like a good metro system. But I wonder if that's his car. I'm not sure though. Um, so it's a two bedroom, two bathroom, $900 per month 
Moritz fee. So I'm guessing the Moritz fee is basically what you pay to actually be docked into that place and be able to stay there with your boat or whatever, okay? Let's keep watching. Heading onto the boat, you just have to go up a small set of stairs and you're at the outdoor space. This is our like deck area. It's very fun. Uh, we enter, do a lot of entertaining out here. Everyone comes out, we got the uh, drinks and we got the chairs and we got the beautiful view that you really can't beat. I wake up. <laughs> you know, Bryce is very funny. You know, I remember um, I saw this video also like on YouTube and it was this guy in New York and he was paying like around $2,500 to live in a one bedroom village here in New York, right? So it's like in the village of New York or whatever, it's very expensive. But the idea is he was like, Tommy, you can't put a price on this view. And I was like, bro, there's no way in heck I'm going to pay $2,500 to look at some city buildings every day when I wake up. I just can't do it, I'm sorry, not my style. Way too expensive. But this view right here, Bryce, is definitely worth $900, okay? Let's keep watching. You know, in the history of our boat days, so I've lived six and a half years, we probably have had like, I don't know, 100 parties, I don't know, something like that. But you lived in that boat for six years? That's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty wild, man. That's pretty wild to live on this boat in a, in, a, in a marina, whatever you want to call it, like a parking spot for six years. It reminds me of those people that live in vans for like, for ages. And they're like, hey, you know what? I can, at least I can like, you know, move around in my van and it's free parking everywhere. And I can, I can, I can sleep for free, but, but I guess, you know, like six years is a pretty long time, but let's not judge it until we see like the inside of the boat though, right? This is my little brother, Barrett. He lives on the boat with me. What's up? Watch your head. We have lots of cool little innovations that we've come up with on the boat as well. Uh, but this is about the, um, this is the interior right now. So we have guitars and pianos and all that stuff on the boat as well. Sometimes there's a glare. So we have this little thing that we created. It comes down like that. Oh, and there goes it there. Wow, that's pretty genius. That's pretty genius, you know. I wish I had like a glare here in my bedroom, but. Like there's nothing to like, the sun doesn't even make it past anything, but this is pretty genius to be honest with you. Ah, chilling, fine to watch TV. <laughs> there's still a glare on the TV. If you guys notice, it's like there's still like a glare on the TV. It's pretty funny, but I guess he has to like lower like the other window, but there's still a glare on the TV, Bryce. Come on, come on, man. Then my brother's office is right here. My office is usually right here, but um, we also have been uh, entertaining lots of our friends that are in town from out of town. And so this table actually converts into a bed. This lowers and these cushions all make this thing a giant bed. It's very, very cool. Look at that. Voila. Oh, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty comfortable, to be honest with you. It's not really that small. It's like pretty big, to be honest. You know, I, I wonder, you know, people live on boats now. They live on like um, vans, they live in like these tiny houses, which I will make videos about that eventually. But the idea is, you know, like the population of America is pretty small. We're like around 357 million people. And that might sound like a lot of people, but in reality, it's pretty small. So the reason people are actually doing all this stuff is because it's so expensive to live in these big cities. But I wonder like 50 years in the line when the population gets like so big, are people going to live in closets? You know, I, I wonder that, I really do, you know, because Things are getting insane, but let, let's just keep watching here. Kitchen has uh, lots of um, fridge, well, not a lot of fridge space, but we have a freezer, uh, you know, Otter Pops and ice creams and stuff like that, and a refrigerator. Three burner stove, if you wanted to cook. Um, we don't cook, we are fast food people. I, 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 wait, let me see this, wait, 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 wait. Postmates? We Postmate all the time. We I Uber Eats bear Postmates, you know. What we do for so imagine this guy, right? Imagine like imagine like you live in Los Angeles. You're cutting down on the on the price of like you know like um like renting because it's so like expensive there. But then you're like like um instead of cooking, you're like um ordering food all the time. Now if you know right, I went to college before, I graduated and stuff. But every time I would eat out in college, it would be like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars every single day. So if these guys are not cooking. They must be spending a ton of money on eating out. So I guess it's like, you know what, Tommy, we would rather like live in a boat, but kind of like, you know, just go out there and eat and be like more convenient than just cook. You know, if you want to really save money, the best thing to do is basically just buy stuff and cook it at home, especially since you have a stove on the boat, bro. 
Bryce, you're slacking, you're lacking, man. Honestly. But the main idea is, guys, I see people spend like $20 every single day on food. This 30 days, that is $600 every single month on food. Plus your rent, you're right back up to what an apartment in LA is equal to. So I I, I, I want less Postmate, less Uber Eats. I want more cooking at home, Bryce. And we are very like um, single use people. So paper plates. The internet will look <laughs> so bad. Zero recycler. I feel like I'm gonna live like this when I move out, you know? Like when I move out, have like my own space and stuff like that, I probably gonna live like this, you know? Like all paper plates, like all like um, utensils. But then again, my girlfriend probably won't allow it. So maybe, maybe not, you know? But if it's just like me living in one space, like I definitely don't wanna worry about washing dishes and stuff like that. But I will cook at home. I will cook at home. I will say that. I will cook at home. So uh, my brother's room's right here. So obviously this being a boat, it's not gonna be the biggest bedroom ever, but it is able to fit a full-size bed and it has a makeshift closet with some shelves to store things. Pretty impressive for a boat. This is probably like, probably like an eight by eight room. Honestly guys, you know, like, um, I've seen like pretty small like apartments all the time because I live in New York, but the best thing to do, like maybe, you know, these, these are guys, you know, so they probably have a lot of girls over, pretty cool stuff, right? But one thing that I've noticed is that if you have a very small room, like just get like a like a twin size bed and maybe like you fold it like a Murphy bed or something like that. It's expensive, but it's kind of like worth it sometimes. But you know, like it, I, I hate a room when like you walk in and you're greeted right there by the bed. You can't go to the side. You can't go over anywhere. Like all you can do is sleep in that in, in that entire room, you know? So I'm not a big fan of this room. I think it's pretty small. Like it's decent, but like I, I like I think you guys should just probably like get like a twin bed or something like that and call it a day or like a Murphy bed and hide the bed or something like that because it's such a waste of space just to have like a big bed there that you only use for a third of the day. Let, let's be honest, unless you're like having a lot of parties and you know what's going on there, right? Built these racks, you know? So you can kind of have like oh, nice clothes here, there. This is actually all clean, I just have it. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's all clean, but I just haven't folded yet. I feel like um, there's this term for like college guys, you know, when you're like, in college and you're living like in a dorm, like you all you really do is like a smell check on your clothes. Like you don't really know if it's clean. You smell check it and you see if it works or not. I'm not 100% soul that is clean. I'm just putting that out there, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that your clothes are clean. But um, definitely um, <laughs> need to fold those clothes, especially if this video is going to be filmed that day and you knew about it. So I shower here every morning, every night. Just like this. <laughs> so this water runs and goes into this. You have a hot water heater too, so this is like... It's warm water. Wow, that's like an airplane like shower, right? It's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I didn't know, honestly, that you had like hot water in a boat, but that's 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 pretty cool to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't really mind like on um, the size of the bathroom. Like it's pretty small, obviously. You can't, you can't even fit like three people in there, like two people in there. Like, I don't know why you would want two people in a bathroom, but, you know, just have the option is great, I guess. But the idea is that, you know, I don't care about the size of the bathroom. It's a pretty sized bathroom. You can shower, um, do your business, and then just, like, call it a day. And you have hot water. It's, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good deal, Bryce, to be honest with you. Pretty good, pretty good. Anybody want any sunglasses? <laughs> oh. These are all of our sunglasses for boat days. That people leave, yeah. I don't, never bought a pair of sunglasses in my life. <laughs> me neither. Me neither, Bryce. I never bought a <laughs> pair of sunglasses either. I guess we're twins. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? But I bought glasses in the past, so I, I will have to say that I did buy these glasses, though. So I'm not as cool as you, Bryce, I guess. The master bedroom. So here's our master bedroom, a.k.a. my room. That's some light in here. A little bit. Also has light switches, which is nice. You see, this is this is what I don't like, you know? Like, you have, like, this pretty good bedroom size, nice lights, but all you can really do in here is basically sleep. That's all you can do. Like, I see, like, the little desk here with the little laptop here and stuff, but, like, the setup. But, like, come on, like, what are you gonna really do there, you know? It's like, I, I just can't stand a big bed in a small room. Like, you can't do anything. Like, you walk in, and all you're greeted with, again, is the bed. Come on, just get, like, a Murphy bed 
a folder of blood, or like a smaller bed size. And this way you can put like, you know, like whatever you want to do in there. Unless you're like not really spending time there whatsoever. And you're mostly outside working and stuff like that. I get that. But for me, that's why I have a twin bed here. Because before I had one of these beds. And literally when I opened the door, it was barely enough space for me to open the door in my room. And now I have like an entire office set up here. I have this thing here. I have like this entire space here for my entire like background set up and stuff like that. But like, come on, like big beds. I just, I, I can't stand them. Here, I have my bathroom. My bathroom here, I have a real shower. Uh, right here. Uh, oh, nice. So he has a real shower. It's actually a lot bigger than his brother's, if you guys notice. It's pretty big, honestly. You might wonder how we power our boat or get water on our boat. And it's very simple. We have all of this stuff running along the uh, dock and up to the side of the boat right here where it plugs in. Gives us 110 power, powers all of our outlets. This is our hose with the filter, the whole system like that. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I guess they can they can charge their phones, they can do everything on the computer. And on top of it, they have fresh water because I guess, you know, I, I watched this video before, but originally when I first watched it, I was like, are these guys taking showers with like, you know, like seawater? Like how does this work, you know? But now it's like, you know, fresh water, fresh electricity, everything is, it's like a house on the sea. So be honest with you, it's pretty cool. It's not that bad, right? On the end of the boat, they also have this little dinghy and this thing is so fun to cruise around the marina in. Honestly, if I get a new one of these, it'd be like $20,000. $20,000 for a dinghy, bro. Like, where are you going, bro? But we got this thing for like six, five or six. Oh. Uh, not that bad, not that bad. But again, if he has like the yacht, right? The big boat and then the small boat and then a car in the beginning of the video, this guy, like, you know what, like, like, why not just go all out and just get an apartment, you know what I mean? So, I just don't get it. My brother and I, because obviously we live going together, we split the rent. I pay, like, a little bit more because I have a way nicer bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, and we split $900 a month. So far, we have a $900 boat expense. For a boat like this, like, how much would it cost to, like, buy it? Mm. So, we had a good deal. You can always find boats that are like this. Mm -hmm. It's just... Kind of like finding a car for that it's the right price. Yeah. This boat is about $45,000. What? $45,000 for this boat, bro. $45,000 for this boat. Yeah. Great financing. So like, it's like 10 year finance deal. Like four so he said he can finance the boat for 10 years. Again, you know, this depends on your credit score. It depends where you're from. Like a lot of things, right? So let's just assume his boat costs $45,000, right? On top of that, you're going to do it for 10 years. But I'm also assuming that most boats out there, they go for like five years or so. But let's just say like, you know, 10, 10, 10, 10 years is fine. However, the interest rate is going to be a lot more higher. So let's say it's like maybe like um 9%, right? So 9%, it might be even higher than that, to be honest with you, right? Because again, you're not buying a house, you're buying a boat that depreciates, right? So when you calculate that, the payments are going to be around $570. So already we're talking about $900 plus $570 for a total price of around $1,470. And I'm not sure if the $900 includes the entire like um, lights and also water. $1,470 can easily get you like a nice two bedroom apartment, maybe more outside of Los Angeles. So, you know, but come on, let's, let's, let's just keep watching here. Oh, all, all the time. Yeah. We have a mechanic on this boat all the time. Okay. So just to be fair, he just did say that he also always has like other expenses. So let's just add another hundred dollars to his rent in a sense to cover like everything. So right now we're at, we're at fifteen ninety. So do you ever like think about leaving the boat life? Honestly, I'd probably just get a bigger boat. So I think like his whole thing, guys. He's been there for like six years. You know, like once you're in somewhere for like six years, man, you're like you're, you're like you're bought in. Like you know, you, a boat is great. It's awesome, you know, at this point. So if he's saying that his whole thing is he can make more money, he'll probably just get a bigger boat. Then that's all for him. You know, that's his choice. But um, I, 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 I would never live on a boat. 
unless I have to. All right, guys, so that is about it for this video. So overall, guys, if you learned anything from this video, by the way, great job, Shelby and Bryce, and also their brother, and also the boat. The boat did great in this video. But the idea is, you know, you're way better off, in my opinion, just living a little bit further away from Los Angeles, like the entire, like, action, stuff like that, and basically just getting something a little bit outside of, like, Hollywood, you know, and basically renting something out for a lot more cheaper because his overall cost is, like, $1,500, and I'm not including, for example, what it takes for him to basically order in food all the time, right? And on top of that, I'm not including, like, the entire like, electricity and also the water unless that's covered, but again, I don't know, and I don't know if he has a car or not either. So, again, this could be anywhere between $2,500 to $3,000 or $4,000 if you include all the other expenses. But so far, just based on this, you might as well just go somewhere else and live like in a normal house or whatever and just call it a day if you want to. But this guy, Bryce, man, he loves his boats. He loves his parties. So, Bryce, you do what you want to do. But overall, guys, comment down below and let me know, do you want to live on a boat? Because I'm thinking about buying one. And we're going to live on the edge of Seattle, which means we're going to save even more money when it comes to rent. So come live with me, guys. We're going to be fine. And I'm also going to get a queen's bed, not a full mattress. And this way, whenever you walk in, you're not walking in. You're just like going right into the bed. So again, overall, great video. And to be honest, would I buy a boat and live in a boat? The answer is there's no way I would spend so much money on a boat, like ever, ever. So that's my, that's what I think about it. Comment down below, let me know what you know. And as always, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you get notified. And as always, guys, if you guys want to watch another video, for example, on how I use my GoPro to actually go Uber Eats and I actually got lost and almost basically, you know, got hit by a car, watch this video right here. And also click my face right here to also start right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.